Hey there, folks. Saying tea at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got some more mail. Hey, Santee, ever thought about doing a top 10 list of your favorite westerns? Kenneth McKenzie. Oh, heck yeah, we can do this. Just so there's no confusion, this video is based on the opinions of one ornery gunslinger, me. If I don't mention any of your favorite westerns, please feel free to comment what they are. This is a particularly difficult one due to the fact that there are so many westerns that I like. It's hard to narrow it down to just 10. So I went with movies that made the most impact on me as my passion for the Wild West crew. Counting down to number one, we start with, uh, number 10. Get on with it! Okay, here goes. Number 10, El Dorado. Pretty much every John Wayne Western could be up here, but this one is the first I remember watching. James Caan, Robert Mitchum, Arthur Honeycutt, strong cast, excellent movie. Number 9, Fastest Gun Alive. Now, Glenn Ford was a terrific actor. He was also quick with a gun and fantastic on a horse. I've liked him in just about everything, but this movie hits home. Number 8, The Magnificent Seven. Darn near every Hollywood tough was in this one. The score was brilliant, the action superb, and they nailed the chemistry between all the characters. Number 7, Fistful of Dollars. This one is my favorite of the Man With No Name trilogy. These spaghetti westerns are iconic and gritty. They've always been close to my heart. The heart, Ramon. Don't forget the heart. Number six, Blazing Saddles. Come on, if this didn't make the list, you'd all have tarred and feathered me. <laughs> Number five, Gunless. Now, you may not know this one, Paul Gross plays an American gunfighter who ends up in Canada outrunning some bad men. It's pretty funny and well written. And it's different, which is why I like it. Number four, Lonesome Dove. There are a lot of epic westerns, but in my book, this one takes the cake. Great cinematography, great writing, great acting. You can tell it was a success because of the many sequels and TV series is, series is. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Number three, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Chuck full of great performances by John Wayne, Lee Marvin, and Jimmy Stewart, this story is really interesting to me, especially the reveal towards the end. You pick it up. Andy Devine's comedy relief was perfect too. You mean Liberty Valance? Just when I was starting to get my appetite back. Number two, Tombstone. As we've talked about before, this movie seems to capture the feel of the 1880s as well as having a strong entertainment value. In my opinion, this movie set the bar for historical accuracy in westerns. Number 1. The Outlaw Josie Wales. Clint Eastwood knocked it out of the park with this one. Adventure, historical significance, humor, a rogue confederate gorilla uses his training to survive the Wild West. <laughs> what could be better? Why, you're gonna pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. This is just stupid. So, Batya. Yeah. This week I'm doing it on my top 10 westerns. So, that's kind of cool. Top 10 westerns? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, you got any westerns that you like? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, like the Cowboys, the Cowboys of John Wayne. That's just a phenomenal yeah. movie. I love it because in the forest, when he's like meets up with uh, uh, Bruce Dern, he's like, you know, he's like, that. you know, that, that's the, just that whole scene. And then, oh, the War Wagon. The War Wagon's another one where he goes and gets his gun back and John and he says, my, 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 my pa gave that to me. He's like, no, he goes, hey, you know, he goes, he can tell him. He, see, El Dorado's got Robert Mitchum, but then he's actually playing the character from Real Lobo. No, Real Bravo. That's about it. Yeah, that's about 470 Westerns that I love. That's a, that's pretty, well, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.